It's an old chalk pit where I live. It's really quite high. Some farms down there, and if you look down onto the road, you can uh, see a road. Hills with all puppies in that field, rotating round. See where the old chalk pit's been dug out, and you see your bits of chalk there. There's some of the random bloke up there, which I've kind of met. And a fence line. You might just be able to hear all the insects. There's grasshoppers, there's bees, there's all sorts. Birds. I've been up here once before with one of my mates, it's just so peaceful and nice. Hey, and welcome to uh, the main part of today's vlog. Um, as you've just seen, I'm in a really, really nice place at the moment. Um, just thought I'd come and sit up here for a bit, record this vlog. It's something a lot different, what you guys are after, a bit of variety. Um, but what I was going to talk about today was, well, I was going to talk about it yesterday, but I'll talk about it today. Uh, recently, Andy Murray has won Wimbledon, and uh, a lot of people are saying it's one of the greatest feats of sport forever, and blah, 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 blah. It's, it's the first British winner in 77 years, um, and that he deserves a knighthood. He should be called, become Sir Andy Murray. Now, I don't think he should. Um, and there's a few things in this video which I, I think why he shouldn't be called, and there's a few other things which keep cropping up, which keep sort of making news and stuff. Um, he's the first British winner in 77 years, which means he's from the United Kingdom, he's British, blah, 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 blah. Um, but a lot of people are getting him mixed up with being English. They're saying he's done England proud, blah, blah, blah. He's not actually English. Now, that's what's annoying me. Sorry if I'm squinting my eyes. The sun is so absolutely blinding. Um, people are saying that he's done England proud and he's done the English proud. He's actually Scottish. Um, and that's what, not, that's what a lot of people seem to get mixed up is the fact that he's Scottish. He's still British, but he's actually Scottish. Um, people are mixing it up and it's sort of it's it's kind of frustrating for us English people because we personally I, I don't really like the guy I think he's a foul mouth potty idiot um, I mean congrats to him he has played well he has won Wimbledon um, I, the fact that he's Scottish and people keep getting this mixed up I think New York Times posted an article saying Murray does the English proud or everyone actually is Brit is uh, he is British but he's Scottish and it's something that people seem to get mixed up. Um, and also it's the fact that people think he deserves a knighthood, which I don't think he does really. Um, he's only won, he's only done his job really, he's only won like, what, like his second major tennis tournament. The first was the US Open. Um, and people just, people seem to think of us only deserves this knighthood now. I understand some sports people in the past have got medals, the uh, NBA's, uh, Dames, whatever, for certain sporting things. Like uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, Sir Chris Hoy. Now these people have done things over a career. Andy Murray's only really got relevant sort of in the past year or two, he's only really got good. And all of a sudden, people are saying he deserves a medal because he won Wimbledon. I mean, you you would really give you would really give a sir to Roger Federer because he's won it seven times. But like, he's not British, he's not English. So why? I don't I don't really get it. Obviously, there's lots of foreign people who've got like sirs, knight of the realms. But it's just now it doesn't really seem relevant. All these wards, sirs, MBs, dames. I mean, yes, it's nice for people to get it. But every year, there's thousands of people who get them. And I mean, back in the day, a sir used to be sort of it used to be like a head knight or someone, someone who would help fight for the sort of the kingdom, whatever, the queen, the king, but now it's just someone who just has a title because they've done something good, which I, I think it's really sort of irrelevant nowadays um, for, Andy Murray to, for Andy Murray to become like a sir, a knight, which isn't really, I, I think that's, that's my understanding of it anyway, I just don't think it's right for him to be made a sir, a knighthood, um, as David Cameron suggested, because at the end of the day he's only done his job, he's only won one tennis tournament and it's not really like, I don't know, it's not really like it's... Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not really like it's his first sort of whenever, um, and he's going to win more in the future. So I, maybe in the future he might want a knighthood, but I don't think he deserves one now. A lot of people are saying he does, but I mean the Andy Murray sort of story's gone quiet quite a bit. I thought a lot of people would talk about it at work and stuff to do with it after he won on Sunday, but not many people have spoke about it. Um, but it just seems like I don't know. People seem to think that he deserves a knighthood and he deserves more praise than he should. Congrats to him. He did win Wimbledon, but I just don't. I just don't like the guy really, I don't think he deserves what people are saying he does. So that's been today's vlog, um, it's just so nice up here, I should, I've really sit up here a bit more but I should get some bed really but it kind of looks a bit odd being moved by myself, um, I, should, I should really get some drinks and come up here and some bed, I, I think I might do it, if it's nice like this on Friday, definitely going to do it, um, it's just so nice, it's just, I've actually got my camera on a tripod today because I can't be asked holding it but it's just absolutely glorious, I've probably just done this. It's just, it's so nice. I wonder if that bloke's still down there who was watching me earlier, but weird. But anyway, yeah. That is today's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.